Hey, good morning. We are here just west of Silverton at the base of the Ice Lake Trail. And I actually took a little shortcut. I took the road up Clear Lake. That's this one right here. So this road goes to Clear Lake, beautiful trip. I'll, uh, I'll put a video out on that actually. I went to South Lookout Peak on that trip, but this trip, we are just using this Clear Lake Road as a little shortcut. And behind me here, right behind the motorcycle, is a trail that leads to the main Ice Lakes Basin Trail. So I'll show you all that on the map, but we are cruising up into the Ice Lakes Basin, and I have a little bone to pick with Pilot Knob, and now that the snow's melted, I am really excited to get up there and do the proper route and show you all the way. So glad you could join me. We'll see you up there. Well, there's where we came from and that gully was tough. Tough as any in the San Juans, I would say. Really loose and slippery. Steep as all get out, but it's a done deal. It was actually really pretty too. And I could look at Ice Lake a lot of the way. And that was really awesome. Over my left shoulder is Golden Horn. And then Vermilion Peak is that next one. And then looking up here is the summit of Pilot Knob, but we're gonna have to go around in order to get up there. So that's what we're going to do next. It's a really, really amazing place. Check it out. Oh, and there's Ophir. 
over there. And another approach route up, I guess, Waterfall Canyon. I up Yellow Mountain there on the left. And look at that. Sweet. And here's our gully. Leading right up there. Yeah, poking it up this gully. It's going pretty good. I would say a hefty class three. It's because of the looseness, gravel and loose blocks. So be prepared for everything. Then it had, looks like it really eases off. So cool. Lake way back there. You can see my high point from about a month ago as well. Really, really close. And then swinging it around this way. Nice lake again. And the final obstacle, which looks rather intimidating. Oh, look at that. That is nuts. Really cool. Here it goes. Just a little scary go around the mushroom there. And a little teeny tiny bit of class three right there. And I think we're done. So Carl Decker would like to present, finally, Pilot Knob. The true summit this time. And uh, I don't think it was particularly any easier or harder than the uh, one I did, but the snow was a major issue. But wow, what a cool place this is really incredible if you've got the skills this is a must do man just spectacular in every direction
Carriage right there. Messy. Oh, oh. oh, I'm going to be away from that loose pile of shit. I think it's time to wrap things up and this is definitely as good a place as any as you can see so pilot knob via ice lake basin is spectacular beautiful millions of flowers the lakes are picturesque we didn't even visit island lake which is relatively close so big thumbs up for all that definitely get out there and check out the basin if nothing else you won't be alone the secret is out but Pilot Knob, on the other hand, you'll probably be alone. And when you get up in that upper basin, it's fairly rough. And then climbing out onto the ridge is crazy rough. It was as rough as any Taos I've done battle with. And it was pretty intense getting back down it as well. So that's my story on all that. But boy, for an adventure climb, it's one of the best. And you know, that's bar none. And I, it's probably about eight miles round trip. So not the easiest 3,500 vertical foot gain, but really cool. Always glad to be back in this area myself. So glad you could join me. Hope you like the trip. We'll catch you on the next one. Here we are on the road up to Clear Lake once again. Met a cool buddy named Don, another guy named Darcy, and that's the trail we just came down. Home sweet home. <laughs>